I can now command K to focus the search box and then search for something. But you can see if I click around the drop down, it doesn't collapse back down. And what I want it to do is if I click outside of this div right here to have it collapse back down. Let's go to our code and make that happen. One thing we'll want to do is to be able to detect if someone does click outside of that drop down search box. In order to do that, we could actually install a plugin. Let's go to our package.json file. And then the plugin that I want to install is called vclick outside. We'll add that here as a dependency. vclick outside. And for version, let's do 3.1.2, which is the latest. Okay, let's open up our terminal. Now I'll open up a new tab here and then run yarn install to install it. Okay, now that it's installed, let's go back to search.view. And now we'll detect if an outside click occurs and then we'll say how to handle that. Let's start by importing that package to this page. Scroll down here and then we'll add a new import. And we'll be importing v click outside from v click outside. We'll then add this as a directive. And we'll first start by typing directives, colon, and then, and then curly brackets. We'll add a comma at the end there. And then within the directives, click outside is v click outside dot directive. We're also going to want to update our return data. So here, let's put a comma after search client. And then on a new line, we'll enter a key. And what this is going to be for is if the search results are open, we'll set that to true. And if the search results are closed, we'll set that to false. So let's label this show results. In which we'll set this to false by default. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit more and let's add a method section. So after computed, do a comma there and then add in methods. And what we'll do is create a method for if an outside click is detected, how to handle that. So let's call this method on click outside. And if this method is called, we're assuming that there's an outside click and that show results is open or true, and then we'll wanna set show results to be false. That way we could hide that search results dropdown. This dot show results, and again, we're gonna set that to false if this is called. Okay, we're now gonna go up to the template and there's gonna be a couple things that we wanna modify. One is that we only want the show results dropdown to show if show results is equal to true. So we'll add that into the vshow logic that we have above. And also we want to declare the area of which if you click on the inside, nothing happens. But if you click on the outside of it, something does happen. Let's go up to our template area. First, let's start with the outside click. So if someone clicks the input box, that is fine. I do not want the show results to hide. And if someone clicks in anything nested within it, which is the search results, again, I don't want those to hide. I only want it to hide if it's clicked on the outside of all that. Therefore, where we're going to add that to is the AIS autocomplete. So here we'll add in v click outside. And of course, if it is clicked outside, we want to call our on click outside method that we just created. And then next, we have v show right here for the current refinement.length, which will show the search results drop down if there is some search results to show. But we also want to only show it if that data that we created below show results is set to true. Which is easy. We'll simply add an end and then show results. If both of these statements are true, then we'll show that drop down. And of course, if we ever want show results to actually be true, we have to set it true somewhere. So far, we're only setting it to false. Let's find somewhere to set it as true. The most logical spot for that would be with an input. If we're typing something, if this is in focus, let's say, we want it to be set to true. So that's relatively easy. We'll just go into the input tag right here and add a new line. And let's set it so that when this input is focus, so at focus, then we'll have show results set to true. 
All right, this should be all that we need to do. Let's go verify that and take a look at our browser. Let's Command K to focus and then start typing in something. All right, good, we see that it pops up. And then for the real test, what happens when we click outside of this? All right, it goes away.